Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaden and today I'm going to be doing a curly hair routine. This video was requested by a couple of people. But this is different from my wash day routine, which I use protein treatments, hair masks and stuff. I wash my hair once a week and I know other people might wash their hair like four to five times a week, but because my hair is curly, it needs the oils in my hair and plus I wet it and condition it every day, so you know. But it took me a long time to figure out what really works for my hair. Before I found something I actually liked, I genuinely didn't like my hair. You know, I didn't like it curly. I always wanted it to be straight like the other girls did. And you know, I'm growing up in El Paso. There's not that many people with hair that looks like mine. So, you know, I didn't see anyone that had good curly hair. So I kind of had to figure it out on my own and help from my mom. It was a lot and it was expensive and a lot of work to find out what worked for me. But I hope this video helps with, you know, just some tips I have to make sure your hair looks good. And yes, but all the products will be listed down below. And PSA, yes, I'm in a t-shirt in the shower in the next clip because I don't need nobody to be seeing me without one. So, yeah. But yeah, let's just get into the video. Hey everyone, welcome to my shower, yas. Okay, so the first thing that I do is make sure my hair is completely drenched because if it is not completely wet, the conditioner will not lay properly. And here is me realizing how stupid I look in a t-shirt in the shower. Yeah, that's okay. Let's just continue. So yeah, you just gotta make sure your hair is completely wet and water is literally a curly person's best friend. So spend like three to four minutes making sure your hair is wet. Then the next thing I do is split it into two parts because as you can see, like although I spent that amount of time wetting my hair, the middle is still not as wet as it should be. So after I split it into two parts, I wet it again and then I grab my favorite conditioner on planet Earth. It is the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. It is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I've tried so many different conditioners, but they just do not hit the same way this conditioner hits. It's so good. It has the best slip and it just gets into your hair like... I literally go through a bottle every two weeks. Anyway, anyway, okay. So I just start from the tip of my hair all the way to the roots and that's just works. That's just what works best for me because it decreases damage and allows me to detangle without having to use a brush because I just don't like using a brush in the shower. I think my hands work better and yeah. But after that, I just do the same exact thing to the top. I split it into two parts and just condition from the bottom all the way to the top. And then once... I finish conditioning all four halves of my hair. I just put it in a bun on the top of my head and then just do all the rest of the things I do in the shower, like wash my face, body, all that stuff. And I just leave it there. And then at the end of the shower, I wet it with cold water just to make sure it's all good and fresh. And here's me dancing. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> So now that I'm out of the shower, I take my hair out of the towel. I don't like it being in the towel for too long because towels are kind of damaging to your hair. But because I took a little bit of time for filming and stuff, I had to recondition my hair. So all it is is a mixture of water and conditioner and it's great. I would suggest making your own leave-in conditioner because it's cheaper. Anyway, after that, I split my hair into two parts like I did in the shower just so that I can make sure every single part of my hair gets product. And I grab a little bit more of the leave-in conditioner so that my hair is extremely conditioned because I don't play with that. I do not play with that in this house, in this Christian household. Moving forward, I get this leave-in conditioner that is my Rider Day product. If you get anything from this video, literally buy this right now. I think it's about like 20 bucks. You can get it at Target or Walgreens and it slaps. So I just rake it through my hair from the bottom to the top and that's what works for me. Some people like to scrunch it in, but that's what works for me. And you can tell like on the left side, and the right side they're very different and one's more moisturized and one is clearly not so i do the same exact thing on the other side of my hair so after spiraling to driver's license i just continue to rake it through my hair on the right side and I make sure that every curl has product on it because that's super important with curly hair then after I'm done with the bottom I just grab the top half of my hair and do the same exact thing that I did to the bottom half
So after spiraling to the best part of driver's license, um, I just get my hair again. Oh my god, I'm still going off. I wish I could put the rest of the song in this video, but you know, copyright. <laughs> um, yes, so I just get the product and I just put it through my hair. I rake it through and I kind of go like left to right with my hair up and down all this because i do not like my hair to just be like cut and dry like on one side of my head i like it to be a little bit more messy and just kind of out there but depending on how you like your curls is how you would style the top half of your hair then after that i get this spray on gel and it works really good for me because you know other gels are just a little too heavy or they get crunchy and this never gets crunchy on my hair which is an issue i had before and it just defines my curls really well and that's how I do not get frizz also from the mixed chicks product because without that your girl would be so frizzy like no cap like it would be so bad but yeah I just kind of go crazy with the gel and it works for me I don't ever get any crunchiness in my hair so we have to stand this gel So after my hair is kind of how I want it, then I flip it over and grab a cotton t-shirt. I just use like one of my band ones from like All Region and I put it on my hair and just wrap it up like a little towel thingy just so that it's out of my way while I do my makeup, but it's not getting damaged by a towel and you know, I love it. I've been doing it for a while now and it works for me. So after my makeup is done, a a um, I either decide that I'm going to diffuse it or just let it air dry. It depends on where I'm going, if I'm going anywhere, because, you know, a pandemic, stay inside, wear your mask. Anyway, um, it depends on if I'm doing anything. So I will either diffuse like that with a blow dryer, but I didn't have the blow dryer, so I just didn't record with it. Or I'll just let it air dry like I did that day because, you know, I just said online school was the point of wasting precious, you know, electricity on my hair. I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, that's all I do for my hair. So this is what my hair looks like after a couple hours of it air drying. Purr, purr, purr. But yeah, that was my daily hair routine and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's more coming soon. If you want to see anything specific, let me know down in the comments below. Purr, purr. Um, but yes, the products will all be listed in the description box. And yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye. So, wait, am I recording? Okay. Wait, I didn't even announce that I was outside. Should I announce that? Does anyone care? Wait. Oh my god. Okay.